Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we actually have a lot of rehousings to do. First, I wanna rehouse my Asian forest scorpion who has been in a medium critter keeper for quite a while. And unfortunately I noticed that a lot of mold broke out. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to give him a larger critter keeper and also, you know, change the substrate and all that. So that is the first priority. Second priority is rehousing my baboon tarantula that my friend gave me. If you remember, this tarantula has been in a storage container for about a month. So she's ready for a new home and I'm gonna go ahead and rehouse her into Jinx, my Asian forest scorpion's old critter keeper. And then the other animal that I really wanna rehouse is my dead leaf mantis. She has grown insanely since probably the last time I've shown her on my channel. She's gotten quite huge, getting definitely a lot closer to her adult size and she's looking really beautiful. So. I kind of wanted to upgrade her because she, right now she's in like a large Amok box, but she would definitely benefit from a lot more space. So currently my husband is back there helping me make an enclosure for her and we will be rehousing her last. So yeah, that is what we need to get done today. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is like a ton of substrate. I thought that brick would be more. So for the Asian forest scorpion, we will mix it up. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and run to the pet store to get more substrate so I can rehouse the baboon. But this should be good for the forest scorpion because that's still a lot of substrate. <laughs> okay. Need to rinse out his bowl. Here he is. So I'm actually gonna put a bunch of cork in here so that it can kind of crawl around more and stuff like that. And this gives them a really good hide. I think this will look awesome. Gotta go wash the water dish. All right, a nice clean water dish right there. So it looks kind of like the plant is like growing out from under here which I really like. And yeah, this looks really cool. I'll give a better shot of it once we actually get him inside. Oh, it actually stung my brush. I've never seen this actually sting and I've held this a lot. So that's a little concerning, but all right. It's escaping! <gasps> no! We have an escape! No! I don't like that. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, we're fine. I've got it under control. My husband came in here like he was gonna do something. Ah! Okay, all right, all right. We're going back in. Ah! Literally right into the hole. So I don't think we're gonna really see much exploring now. Yeah, so this is the new enclosure and I actually really like it. Looks a little curious, like it wants to explore a little bit, but there's lots of coverage, lots of climbing stuff. And then there's like lots of substrate to dig in. I know it probably doesn't seem like a lot because this Critter Keeper is huge. This is like the biggest one that they make. So it's really deep and it has like a lot of substrate in it. A whole brick actually, but since it's such a giant Critter Keeper, you might not be able to tell as well. But yeah, I think this turned out really nice. And I think this is a huge improvement from the smaller one, smaller one. But you can see like there's like so much mold that's growing there. There's just a lot of mold that I could see in the substrate. So fortunately we caught that pretty early and now we have this awesome new enclosure. I ran out of substrate like a new hoop. So we are going to run into Petsway really quick and grab some more supplies. They're closing. So I'm kind of sad about that because I do really like Petsway. Maybe we'll find some like good deals. Like I'm hoping because it says that everything's on sale. So I went a little crazy and I got a lot, but I thought this would actually be better to use today instead of cleaning out the moldy one. I could just use this one for my baboon really quick. And then I also got like some dog treats and like an aquarium ornament, which I really like this. I think this will look really good in my tank. 
And then I also got like a ton of super worms and stuff because it was all on sale. So I got what I needed and yeah, so let's go rehouse this baboon finally. All right, so we have this enclosure and we are just going to add a bunch of this substrate. Now this is the jungle mix. I actually like this better than Eco Earth. It just is so much better at like staying damp. Like it doesn't dry out as fast, I feel like. I think that'll be pretty good. I like to kind of just like start a hole and then also make it like uneven and just kind of give it some kind of something. I don't know. And then we'll just add a little bit of this. And then from the pet store, I also picked up this plant. Now I don't think I need to uh, use this whole thing, but I am going to use a nice chunk of it. And this can serve as like her hide. So let's try to get her in. I'm kind of nervous about this cause she's hiding under here. Might be a little bit of a challenge to get her out and I really don't want to piss her off, but that's what we have to do, I guess. I'm gonna start by trying to add some water to see if we can use that to kind of lure her out easier. She's like down there, so. I see her feet, so it is working. Keep flooding her out. I keep going. Now we just gotta try to get her to come out. Don't want her to go back in. So, okay. Yeah, I wonder if we can just poke her in the new thing. anymore because I don't want her to take off again but oh we got her actually I'm gonna this lid. so good news also for her I have a mature male that we will be picking up here soon look at that oh my god she's so mad got her yay there she is right there and she's probably a little spooked because you know new enclosure but she has way more room and way more substrate and coverage. And that is how you rehouse a burrowed baboon. High five, cat. So yeah, she actually has a giant super worm right now that she's eating. And yeah, she has a ton more substrate than she did. And then also I made these little holes so that she'll get started. I was gonna put like a ornament or something in there, but honestly, like if I put like a coconut hide or cork bark or something, I have a feeling it's just gonna get buried anyway with her. So these starter holes will hopefully get her to make her burrow. And these plants kind of add just a little bit of extra coverage for her. So I think this actually looks pretty good. It's very simple. I know it's simple. My setups generally are pretty simple, but it's functional and she has literally everything she wants. So I think she's good. Two hours later. All right, so now we are going to rehouse my dead leaf mantis. As you see, she has gotten huge. Um, I actually took the piece of cork bark that was in here and I glued it to the top of this new enclosure, which I think is going to be a lot better for her. So yeah, my husband actually was nice enough to cut this out and like glue it on this mesh. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get this together because I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So I'm gonna set her aside. Dirt everywhere already. So she doesn't need like a ton of substrate, but you want, you know, enough in there to kind of create some humidity, keep that in there. So I got this really cool piece of cork bark that I thought we could lean up in here. And also this is just a plant that I found. I cut it up and that'll be like 
good for it to climb on and stuff. I think it looks cool too. Maybe I'll bend it just a little bit. Now I also found these at Tropical World Pets. So I wanted to try using one of these and they look like this, but you can actually, oh, they're actual sticks. <laughs> was not expecting that, okay. I don't think I'm gonna use that then because I don't really think that's gonna look good if I can't bend it. So we'll save those for something else because yeah, I don't think that's gonna really work out very well for this. Okay, so this is what the enclosure looks like. So I don't know if you guys have seen her in a while, but she has gotten like huge. Probably hungry, so we can go. Oh my gosh, that was quite a leap. Let's see if she'll eat while she's down there. Let's see if she'll eat. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna eat right now, but just look at her. Really pretty. And we can go ahead and try putting her in the new enclosure. Look. It was much better for her. So yeah, this is what the new enclosure looks like. I think that it is definitely way roomier for her and it also just has, I don't know, it just looks better, I feel like. I mean, this was pretty cool, but this is definitely more suited. But yeah, there she is hanging upside down and I threw a few crickets in there for her as well. So hopefully she likes her new enclosure and I really like it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I'm on Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's FTRangel.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, which is linked down below. And I will see you guys soon.